in consumers' personal lives, they're using services. Many people aren't buying cars anymore, they're shifting to using things like Uber. And you look in businesses, instead of buying big data centers, they're using cloud computing. What we're seeing is customers now saying, I've moved the rest of my business, I want to take my compute devices, my tablets and my phones to as a service model. So if you look at what happened to our printer business, people used to buy printers. They'd buy a printer, they'd buy toner cartridges or ink cartridges. What started happening about a decade ago is instead they said, I want to buy printing from you. You manage our printers, you make sure I have toner, and I'll pay you on a page printed basis. We see devices as service taking roughly the same trend. When we manage the PCs for companies, we're able to see whether a hard drive is about to fail before it fails. We're able to see if a battery is going to last from Atlanta to San Francisco. We're able to handle the back end of that PC and make sure that it's recycled. The truth is many companies are paying for software that the employees aren't even using. Through our analytic tools, we can see what their employees are actually using and optimize that. But if the employees aren't using it, but they're paying for it, they can save that money. 90% of companies last year had a security breach. Guess what? 71% of those happened on endpoints. An endpoint is a mobile phone. An endpoint is a tablet. An endpoint is a PC and the endpoints aren't adequately secured. We found in a company 60,000 hours of employee compute usage without firewalls. That's a hacker's dream. Not only the data loss, but also the cost of securing that afterwards is significant. Within a device as a service, we're kind of that outer security barrier to make sure that the company's security protocols are in place and thereby the company's data is safe.